I'm Corey from ID Parts. A question we get asked often is how you can test your glow plugs to determine whether they're all good or find which one is faulty, especially if you're having starting problems. The easiest way to do this is testing the resistance of each plug using a high quality multimeter just like this. What we'll do is we'll take the glow plug harness off and we'll test each of the plugs to see the resistance. We'll see if the resistance is within range and see if we have any faulty plugs on this O3 Jetta TDI. Let's get going. The first thing we need to do is be sure that we are on the right setting. Most multimeters have lots of settings. The ones we need is the ones is the setting for ohms, which is just resistance in ohms. After we turn it to ohms, the display will show nothing since there's nothing connected, and we'll look and start on the glow plugs. The first thing we need, first thing we need to do, is remove the glow plug harness itself. On this model, it just pulls right off. Most glow plug harnesses pull off. They don't have any connections. To with that off, we're going to take the um, top of the one of the leads and attach it to the top of the glow plug. And take the other lead, lead and attach it to a clean spot of the cylinder head. And we're getting 1.4 ohms on this plug. Now the question is, of course, what is the proper resistance? And depending on the multimeter model that you're using, the resistance is going to change. So don't worry too much about the number, but we want to be sure that all four are within the same range. What you'll notice is maybe two are the same and the two are totally off the charts. That's how you tell which plug is bad. Let's test the other three. That's the same thing. It's about, it's just, about just over one of them. So that plug's also good. So we know three are good, and we're, we are having glow plug. We had to have a glow plug plug in this car, so guessing number four is the bad one. Yep, and we had an open circuit on this plug. We're not getting any uh, any continuity whatsoever between the, 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 the heating coil that's inside this plug. All right, that's it. You can do this easily on your own car. Again, all you need to get is a high quality multimeter. We have one at ideparts.com, but most ones you can find at any hardware store will do. Leave us a comment if you have a question. I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. Subscribe to our channel and uh, check out the ID Parts post, post at ideparts.com. Thanks as always for watching. Take care.